would like to welcome our dearest viewers via Nursat and Tele Lumiere. And we begin with the following headlines. Pope Francis prays for peace and the preservation of unity in the Church. His Majesty King Abdullah II warns of the ongoing deterioration of the situation in Gaza. Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzavella to his children in Gaza, be strong and we will pray together with joy and peace. Jordanian churches hold solidarity vigils to stop the war in Gaza. Welcome all. Pope Francis presided over a prayer service at St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican, which included the recitation of the Rosary and the Adoration of the Holy Eucharist. At the end of the prayer, the Pope recited a prayer in which he said, You, O Mary, you know our awareness and our wounds. You suffer with us and for us, seeing so many of your children torn apart by conflicts, anguished by the war that tears the world apart. The Holy Father continued saying, O Mary, help us to preserve unity in the Church and make us feel responsible for peace, inviting us to pray and worship. Move the hearts of those who are trapped by hatred and wipe away the tears of children. Assist those who are lonely and elderly. Sustain the wounded and the sick. Protect those who had to leave their land and their loved ones. Pope Francis concluded by saying, O Lady of all people, reconcile your children who have been seduced by evil and teach us to care for one another. The Apostolic Nuncio to the United Nations, Archbishop Gabriel Cassia, urged Israel and Palestinian to show courage for peace by working towards a two-state solution. In a speech delivered before the United Nations Security Council, he reminded those present of the words of Pope Francis, stating that war is a defeat for all and undermines human brotherhood. He emphasized that the ongoing conflict in the Holy Land has caused great suffering to civilians. Archbishop Cassia did not hide his concern about the humanitarian catastrophe in Gaza, where tens of thousands of people have been killed or injured, and hundreds of thousands have been displaced from their homes. King Abdullah II called on the international community to assume its responsibilities in providing the necessary support to UNRWA, especially in light of the challenges it faces in delivering its services, particularly in the Strip of Gaza. This came during his reception of the Commissioner General of the United Nations Relief and Work Agency for Palestinian Refugees in the Near East, UNRWA, Philip Lazzarini, in the presence of His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein. His Majesty reiterated the need for an immediate ceasefire in the war on Gaza and the protection of civilians, as well as the continuous delivery of humanitarian aid without interruption. He also emphasized the importance of not obstructing the work of international organizations while they carry out their humanitarian duties in Gaza. King Abdullah warned against the ongoing deterioration of the security and health conditions in the region. In another context, Jordan appreciated the stance of the United Nations and its member states in the General Assembly, who voted in favor of its presented solution concerning the necessity to protect civilians in Gaza and to stop the unlawful Israeli actions in Jerusalem and the occupied territories. The United Nations General Assembly had voted in favor of the resolution, which Jordan had actively promoted. This resolution consistently emphasizes that a just and lasting solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict can only be achieved through peaceful means and on the basis of a two-state solution. With the ongoing war in Gaza and the danger facing Christians there, His Beatitude Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabella, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, directed a message to his children in Gaza. In the message, he expressed his deep concern for what they are enduring in these challenging circumstances. He said, Do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. He assured them with his solidarity, stating, I am with you in your suffering and pain, dedicating all my time to pray for you and for dialogue with the authorities to resolve the situation as soon as possible and to support you to the best of our ability. In his message, his beatitude added, All the Christians in the world are with you, praying for you and supporting you. He concluded by saying, God is with you, and we are with you, so be strong. I am fully confident that we will pray together in Gaza with joy and peace. Bishop Christopher Satallah, the Orthodox Archbishop of Jordan, presided over a divine liturgy at the Church of the Dormition of the Virgin Mary in Hananiya and Madaba. During the liturgy, Mr. Helm Ibrahim was ordained as a deacon on the Lord's altar. After the service, His Eminence addressed the newly ordained deacon, saying, You have fulfilled your dream of serving in the Church of Christ and we must humble ourselves to love more. Know that God's grace is perfected in weakness. Deacon Helmi was supported in his ministry by a group of priests and deacons with the presence of a large number of parishioners and the family of the newly ordained deacon. On another note, the Orthodox Archdiocese of Jordan called upon its parishioners in the kingdom to make donations in support of the church in Gaza. In their appeal, they expressed that this act is a demonstration of their active faith and love 
and their solidarity as brothers and sisters. This call for support comes as a response to the heinous and bloody attacks that have befallen Gaza and its people. The church, which provides shelter to both Christians and Muslim refugees in Gaza, is suffering from shortage of essential supplies like medicine and food. The appeal urged the faithful to donate to their brothers and sisters in Gaza, enabling the church to fulfill its duty towards the displaced and homeless families in the region. Israel committed a gruesome massacre when its military aircraft targeted the building of St. Porphyrius Orthodox and the Anglican Episcopal Church Hospital in Gaza. These attacks resulted in a significant number of casualties among both Christians and Muslim families seeking shelter at these locations, with a majority being women and children. In response to the invitation of the Latin Archdiocese in Jordan, a solidarity and prayer event for peace and cessation of the war in Gaza and the Holy Land was held at the Nazarene Virgin Church in Swafiyya, Amman. The event included the liturgy and the recitation of the rosary, followed by lighting of candles for peace in the region. At the end of the liturgy, attended by several priests and nuns, the congregation gathered in the church square where Father Hanna Kildani delivered a speech. In his address, he urged everyone to pray for God, seeking the intercession of the Virgin Mary to protect the people of Palestine and Gaza. He also expressed his support for the diplomatic and humanitarian efforts of His Majesty King Abdullah II, rooted in Jordan's genuine principles. Father Kildani concluded his speech by calling for an end to the injustice of the occupation on the Palestinian people. Archbishop Jamal Khadr also delivered a speech describing what is happening in Gaza as a defeat for human values that cannot be justified in any way. He called on everyone to unite for the sake of peace and justice, reminding those present of King Abdullah's second statement that the only way to a secure future for the people of the Middle East and the world as a whole begins with the belief that every human life is of equal value. The Christian Jordanian community in the province of Zarqa also held a solidarity event with their Palestinian brothers and sisters in Gaza and all of Palestine. This event took place at St. Joseph's Parish Church. It was attended by several religious and official figures as well as a large gathering of community members, including Deputy Hayal Ayash, Father Ayad Badr, Saeed Awais, and Fatin Smirat. The speakers at the event called for an immediate cessation of the war in Gaza, lifting the blockade, reopening the crossings, and fully restoring electrical power to the region. They praised the continuous efforts of His Majesty King Abdullah II in defending the Palestinian cause. They strongly condemned the Israeli occupation's massacre in Gaza, which have affected innocent civilians in their homes and churches. We have reached the end of our broadcast, dear viewers. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. His Majesty King Abdullah warns of the ongoing deterioration of the situation in Gaza. Cardinal Pizzabella to his children in Gaza, be strong and we will pray together with joy and peace. Jordanian churches hold solidarity vigils to stop the war in Gaza. For more information, please visit our website, nursajo.org. Wishing you a pleasant time and may you be blessed with all the happiness.